scientists have revealed the enormous underground pipeline system of the Yellowstone volcano in unprecedented detail. The findings, which are the result of a mammoth subsurface mapping task, could help answer some unanswered questions about hydrothermal activity at supervolcanoes. Yellowstone sits above a very large hot spot, an area of the Earth's crust where hot plumes rise from the mantle below, generating volcanic activity at the surface. The region is known for its hydrothermal activity, with more than 500 geysers. This is the largest concentration of active geysers on Earth, accounting for half of all known examples. Geologists have a fairly good understanding of the volcanic system beneath Yellowstone's surface. Volcanoes have one smaller chamber that sits in the Earth's crust, while another, much larger reservoir is in the lower crust, feeding the upper chamber. However, what lies between the magma chamber and its surface is still a mystery. Researchers have spent weeks flying helicopters over Yellowstone to develop a view of the piping system that controls and facilitates hydrothermal activity. They flew helicopters with electromagnetic circles 80 feet wide dangling beneath them. Water is a much better conductor of electricity than rock, so the hoop is able to detect variations between wet and dry rock. Helicopters are flown back and forth across the park to measure electrical conductivity and magnetic properties, creating an image of a piping system. This is the first survey of its kind over a large active hydrothermal system, so we were excited when we saw the first images at Old Faithful showing that our experiment was successful, that we were able to see long-inferred fluids and clays, said Finn. We were surprised at how extensive the piping system was, how clearly we could describe and distinguish signals from cold and hot liquids, and that there was a gap in the piping system in the middle of Yellowstone. Additionally, we were surprised that we could find many areas of clay, and this marks the top of the vertical channel for hot liquids. The results show the hot hydrothermal fluid rises almost vertically from a depth of about 3,000 feet before arriving at the main hydrothermal field. This liquid mixes with groundwater from within and beneath the lava flows, 